anniversary month is finally over so as expected we're having a date week right now because global and jp are unsyncing that's why if you notice ninja Row is actually out for like one week longer than in jp at least presumably so because usually ninja Row doesn't like stay for 41 days so you know they're trying to desync jp and global which i don't get why you really need to but you know bandai is gonna do what they want and along with that well let's just talk about the granny cat shop first they won't be going away anytime soon you have one week to you know claim your stuff so be sure to claim it although you can't get any more of those jiraiya books though sadly there's new there's a new ninja road, so the shop is refreshed um it's still Kotetsu as the ninja road unit which is all right i guess and now we have indra which is like nobody uses but that's besides the point and as for the new normal banner unit character it's sai which is meh i've looked through his stats and it's honestly not that good his first jutsu is just slip damage second jutsu i mean his ultimate is just slip damage and health recovery ceiling like it's not even guaranteed and it's quite a bad chance honestly to not accomplish much and they're both single target so i'm not sure what's the point there they are, like the main purpose of these um granny cat not granny cat normal banner units is for the ninja road extra effects which makes it kind of annoying for people like me who really want to farm ninja road, but it will take forever man so they are like trying to incentivize you to summon but they actually made the normal banner units worse like last time it used to be a two-step one where it's 40 and 50 and then you can get Sai or whatever character in the second step but now they've added another step in between the guaranteed and the normal one which is a step with Chojuro, not yeah, Chojuro or Yukito guarantee which is like why though it's not like these two are like outstanding units if you ask like Sasori or, or like Shikamaru or Lee you know guarantee them I could see like people actually wanting it but Choju and Yugito has been out for so long and they're not even good so you know and Sai is not good himself either we really just want him for the boost the drop rate is 1% but you know nothing too special about Sai to really go deep for him all the anniversary banners are gone as well we only have this for one more week so if you have any missions left i'm sure they're still out there make sure to try and complete them to get as much tickets i guess and then yeah we'll be covering ninja road today there's a phantom castle for jp as well but we'll be just doing on global for now i'm going into this completely blind the update is just was just like 23 minutes ago so you know so let me set up my team real quick oh i actually just realized something chojuro and yugito actually gives you extra it gives you double the clash uh, like the ninja granny cat coins that's actually insane man i was like wondering why would they have chojuro and yugito it's like so random but they actually got the extra effect to give more coins so that's actually good oh i misunderstood bandai agree man they did they did good so they're providing like players who don't really want to summon on the bad banner that is sai to have a chance to get double rewards so that's cool you know so yeah this is like fodder you know i'm never gonna use the team it's just to level up pain and for the extra effect and this team was the team I used to beat to beat Ninja Road, the previous one, during the anniversary. Let's swap it up a bit. Pretty sure it was like this. Yeah, you're pretty sure it's just like this. 
you know it's a pretty good setup um so yeah maybe we can clear it on our first try oh i hate when they do this man so let's get right into it okay so first map is the super impact body mass tobito let's see if he is vast strange but he doesn't seem to like reduce my attack or anything so well, let's just test out how much health he has i guess that will be an ultra combo oh that times two. Oh, never mind he just dies right away I mean usually the first four maps are nothing special so you have B and A no health as well okay easy stuff okay we have the Taka gang so they do fix damage all of them do I didn't check what B and A do but you probably wouldn't need to worry about it since you can kill them with just two normal attacks but they probably like boost each other's attack or crit or whatever you know probably not crit since AIs don't crit but oh right away Kaguya okay that's interesting Kaguya is usually like the last boss so we can stay up here there's no fixed damage or anything and it's a body type so once my Naruto comes back I'll just use um, Madara there okay so she does knock you down but she doesn't apply any status effects okay does this do anything nope I think she just purely does damage only I was hoping for a reset there you got to slowly start stacking um, Obito's health Oh, nice Madara got a reset. So the boost is restore 1.500 health every 10 turns. 1.5k health, I don't know why I say 1.500. That didn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, there's this trend going on now where you don't recover your chakra after every single boss it's just the last one at least so far it has been so the fact that but why would they give us health recovery though? do they do like tons of damage or something? so let's see if this kills them oh Madara got reset as well I mean they're both Madras but okay so they die pretty easily and we have Gamabunta so let's stack up our health recovery oh last time Kamabunta was out it's pretty it was pretty annoying to deal with so let's see what he does here oh attack weakening and another status effect by how much? 45% for 4 turns that's rough man no, I'm just gonna keep Madara out because I wanna leave Final Valley Sasuke for his ultimate. Hopefully he doesn't do Jitsu Sealing. Attack weak yeah, you need us attack weakening. Which is annoying because it stacks. Hopefully his main hit doesn't do anything too dangerous here. He automatically swaps them out which is annoying but his range is pretty small for his head so it's not too big of a deal and I didn't kill him so oh man oh no one got attack weakened so that's interesting and then we'll just use his jutsu since you know using an out would be a waste here Standard chakra recovery double. Oh, that's interesting. So you gain two chakra every turn. You know, that's cool, I guess. So we have the Gaiden Kakashi here with Yamato. And some random arm boost. Seems like there's no fixed theme or anything. 
It's just very random units. Okay, so we just use Pain here. Pain being an excellent unit for Ninja Road. Other than the fact that he can't ignore sub. Cause counters, counters. Okay. Oh, and I'm still sweet suit. Cause the thing is, Pain ignores um, Jutsu and Secret Techniques for 5 turns. Which is like the most that you ever get out of a unit. With, and then he also does AoE massive damage and ignores DR. So it seems they have built in damage reduction and dodge. Oh boy. Health recovery ceiling and switch ceiling. Okay, that's really very annoying. I really should have used Madara right away. So you really got to save your um, ignore substitution units, you know. Like those that can ignore substitution on their outs. How long is this switch ceiling for? So maybe about 5 or 6 turns. Oh, that's really annoying here. Oh, and I'm still switch sealed. I'll probably just skip to when I complete this map. Seems like they're, they're never gonna kill me, you know, they're too weak. And just a stall fest, you know, at this point. Bruh. Just die, man. Now got the reset there, very nice. So what's the next boss? Okay, Juby. And it's a body type as well. So they're really catering to Sai here, which is a skill type. Hmm. Man, I used all my AoE ultimates. I need a Madras one, which will take some time to come. Hopefully, these hands don't do anything special. Just damage, please. Jutsu ceiling. That's rough, man. And they stack Jutsu ceiling, so... I mean... My boy Obito here gives Jutsu ceiling resistance on his... Okay, I thought he was gonna one-shot me or something. Just don't switch seal and I'm fine. So how long am I Jutsu sealed for? 7 turns, 5 turns. Oh, that's insane, man. At least Obito has a 40% resistance, so Sasuke didn't get hit at all. Okay, so let's just bring Madra out then to give the extra DR there and to not have a chance of my Sasuke getting Jutsu sealed. He does a lot of damage though. Oh, I really need the healing to come in but... Okay, they're dodging. Got chakras and stuff. Oh, if I paint last dupe, he'll be like so good. But oh well. The hands are almost dead. Oh man, I really need to kill the hands, but I can't. Let's just keep mother out for the damage reduction. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. But oh, this ninja is super annoying, man. Like Gaiden map, and then now this Juby map. You just got to use your house wisely. I probably could do it a bit easier when I do a rerun of this. So just choose to ceiling and a lot of status ailments. My Sasuke is probably just to sealed for 20 turns at this point. Six, so I guess they jutsu seal like two for two turns each time. Please be okay. I am jutsu seal. Uh, I'll just get rid of this hand. And then now we're done. I think now we get back all our chakras, so it won't be too bad that I wasted 
quite a bit of chakra here. Yep, fully recovers chakra. Itachi and Shisui. 90% of inflicting status ailments with ceiling. Oh boy. Um let's try to get rid of Shisui. They're probably pretty tanky though, so. Yep. Hopefully they don't do anything. Sweet ceiling and health recovery ceiling. Okay, at least she sweet didn't help you. If not, I would have been in deep trouble. I might just skip the whole new king part and just do damage. They are also tanky. I mean, actually they're not that tanky. Three ultimates. We'll just kill them. Okay, so... Do they give each other something? No, they just counter, I think. So, Shisui... Um, health I mean, just switch seals and Itachi... Switch seals and health recovery seals. Or is the switch sealing part of the combination attack thing? Oh, it is, it is. Then where did the hell ceiling come from? Yup, it's over now. I mean, it's pretty simple. Compared to like, map 9, you know. Of the previous ninja road. So Itachi only helps you since Shisui does nothing special. That's cool. Now we're on to the final map. Okay, the four Kages. Edo Kages. I'm not sure why they're putting them on this map though. I will assume they will be on the GUP map, but I guess not. Um, so Hashirama is the main dude. His body type as well. So if you have Sai, you'll probably have a much easier time. In fact, Yugito might have an easier time here as well. Since she is body type. How long am I switch sealed for? 8 turns? God damn. Now let's just get some immunity. Let's see if they do anything. Elemental switch to Wisdom. And they have substitution chances. Is that from the fuel skill? I didn't. I can't really catch up with the passive, so I didn't really look too much into it. He doesn't. Sweet ceiling and attack weaken. Tons of sweet ceiling, this ninja root. 4, 6, 10. Okay, well, Madra's not switching out anytime soon. Ashurama AoE whole map does a tons of damage. Oh man, I really need to start stacking up their healing. Um, so let's go immune. Might just fast forward this part. At least none of them like Jutsu Seal, you know. So it isn't that bad, you just switch your element to Wisdom and Heart. And they just switch seal and attack weaken, but you know as long as they don't Jutsu seal me, I'm good. So you can really forget about using your back row, I guess. And then... Yeah, I think this ninja is pretty easy it's just annoying like very very annoying i pretty much beat it here already i 
getting tons of chakra from getting hit so you know if you have madra you probably could get pretty lucky and get an ultimate every single turn should i use my out here on harsh drama let's do that and then we'll finish it off with uh, skill madra ultimate oh never mind they switched my type to skill so okay so they just keep switching your types around it's a pretty easy ninja road like i said i'm sure most of you guys won't have much problem you know and especially if they make yukito like have an extra effect there and yeah that's pretty nice they actually did something good here man like having choju and yukito give extra coins so yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time